12 years, 5 and a half months. That's how long it's been since Windows XP went on sale. Today, nearly one third of the world's PCs are still running the operating system, an enduring popularity that's proved to be a double edged sword for Microsoft, which has been forced to extend support for the older version of OS's. Now, tomorrow, Microsoft's extended support for XP draws to a close, pressuring both customers and frantic IT departments to search for an alternative. Anyways though, there's no denying the impact that Windows XP has had on the desktop market and is shaping the computer industry as a whole. So by the time the much criticized Windows Vista went on sale, Windows XP had been hogging the limelight for more than 5 years. In that time, customers and corporations had become entrenched, unwilling to upgrade to an unappetizing sequel. XP is the curse of being good enough. Basically, companies don't want to have to upgrade an operating system that still works fine, and they don't want to have to bother with all the hassle of changing over to a new operating system, checking all their software, retraining all their employees, all that kind of stuff. There's just really no reason to do that if Windows XP still works. Now, Windows XP does harken back to a different age when our choice of operating system could, was completely defined based on computing experience. Today's services like Netflix, Facebook, or Spotify can be found online, across multiple platforms, and even on TVs and in cars. With the operating system becoming less crucial in, in our daily lives, we may never see another OS as significant as Windows XP. If you're not Microsoft, the OS doesn't really matter too much anymore. Where it does matter is running old stuff and various business things where change is bad. Windows XP still has a, a huge significance in the worldwide operating system market, and as Microsoft is moving to get rid of Windows XP and replace it with new operating systems, it, 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 the operating system's significance is still to be found. Now the question is, what will big businesses do now that they no longer can run Windows XP? Will they switch to Windows? 7, or will they go even more radical going to Windows 8, or will they change completely and go to, you know, maybe an Apple or operating system like OS X? Personally, I think the last option is very unlikely, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Please sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the Windows XP and are sad to see it go, and I will see you next time. Bye!